The stability test of a power transformer is a crucial part of the transformer's protection scheme. It is performed to ensure that the differential relay does not operate under normal conditions, even when load currents are high, and only operates when a fault occurs in its protection zone. Here's a detailed explanation. 1. Transformer Differential Protection This is one of the primary methods for electrically safeguarding transformers. It operates as a unit protection scheme, meaning it responds only if the fault occurs within its designated protection zone. If the fault lies outside this zone, the differential protection should not trigger. The concept of in-zone faults and out-of-zone faults is employed to differentiate between fault types. Specifically, out-of-zone faults, also known as through faults, require the differential protection scheme to remain stable, meaning it should not operate during through fault conditions. 2. Current Conservation Principle Differential protection operates on the principle of current conservation, where the incoming current must equal the outgoing current. However, a key distinction arises when dealing with transformers. The currents at the high voltage HV and low voltage LV sides are not equal. Therefore, we must apply a transformation ratio to calculate the differential current between the HV and LV windings. 3. Stability Tests these tests are performed on transformer differential protection relays and transformer restricted earth fault protection relays. These tests serve to verify correct polarities, validate setting calculations, and ensure the ratio and phase angle compensation of the differential protection. In addition to these, there are other tests like winding insulation resistance test, winding resistance test, vector group test, tan delta test, no load test or iron losses, load test or copper losses, temperature rise test, partial discharge test, frequency response analysis test, and transformer oil breakdown test. Remember, the goal of these tests is to ensure the stability of the transformer under various operating conditions and to prevent unnecessary tripping of the protection system. Electrical power transformers with a rating of more than 5 MVA have differential protection. Compared with other protection strategies, transformer differential protection has significant benefits. A Buchholz relay can detect problems in the transformer that are located inside the insulating oil. However, if a fault develops in the transformer but not in the oil, it cannot be detected. Buchholz relays fall short of providing adequate protection against any bushing flash. These kinds of defects can be found using differential relays. Additionally, transformers have Buchholz relays to detect any internal faults, However, differential protection systems find these faults more efficiently. A differential relay analyzes the power transformer primary and secondary currents. If there is any imbalance, the relay activates and simultaneously trips the primary and secondary circuit breakers. The secondary windings of the CTs from the transformer transformer's primary and secondary sides are connected in the opposite direction to the same current coil of the differential relay so that there is no consequential current in that coil when the transformer operates normally. However, if a significant fault within the transformer disrupts the transformer's normal ratio, the secondary current of both CTs does not remain the same, and a resultant current flows through the current coil of the differential relay, actuating the relay and tripping both the primary and secondary side circuit breakers. An appropriate examination of the conditions of a fault caused by the differential protection system must take into account voltage, current, and phase angle. The differential current remains zero for the normal load and external faults if the turn ratio and phase compensation are correctly designed. There are several reasons that cause unwanted differential currents, for instance, alteration in the tap changer position, the features of loads, and transformer operating conditions. To make a differential relay as sensitive and stable as possible, restrained differential protection is developed for power transformers. The restrained current or bias current provides restrictions for the differential relay operation. This stabilizes protection under fault conditions while still permitting the system to have good basic sensitivity. One way of defining the differential current I0 and bias current IB is by using equations, where I1 is the magnitude of the power transformer primary current and I2 is the magnitude of the power transformer secondary current. The transformer stability test is performed to ensure that the differential relay does not operate under normal conditions, even when load currents are high, and only operates when a fault occurs in its protection zone. The differential protection zone consists of a transformer and cables between current transformers. 
The cables are not covered when bushing current transformers BCTs are utilized. The stability test is primarily performed to make sure that the CT selection and the setting parameters used for fault sensing are accurate. It indicates that sufficient current must be supplied to the CT's primary HV and LV sides of a transformer in order to acquire a healthy reading on the CT's secondary side to check the differential relay operation. Different methods to perform stability test. Transformers place a high burden on a current source. At the site, the transformer HV side differential CTs are mostly very far from the transformer LV side CTs connected via the MV and LV switchgear side. The distance between the HV side and LV side CTs can reach up to several miles depending upon the site design. Therefore, a current source is not feasible at the site. The more economical and safe way is to use an appropriate voltage source to supply sufficient current on CT's primary side by shorting either side of a transformer winding. The shorting is applied after the CT that is used in the differential protection scheme. Usually, the voltage source is connected on the transformer HV side, and the transformer LV side is short-circuited. This method of testing is mainly used for stability tests. However, this test has some limitations in industries where the HV side of a transformer is connected to the gas-insulated switchgear GIS and applying an external voltage source to the HV side is not possible. In this case, the voltage source is connected to the LV side and the HV side is short-circuited.